Hello guys and welcome. Um, in this mini-series, I'm going to show you how you can create an image resizing microservice. Um, it will be split into two or three parts. In this part, we're going to um, do the backend. So in Node.js, we're going to resize images from our local file system. So let's go ahead and see this in action. Localhost 13377 slash resize uh, and then we provide the dimensions we want 500 with 500 height okay as we, you can see here um, basically we have a resized image that we picked up from the local uh, file system and in this case it keeps the aspect ratio uh, so 500 pixels of width and if we inspect it as you can see here the width is 500 pixels. So let's get started. So there are two major tools in the market right now uh, called Image Magic is one of them. Um, it's a very battle tested tool and it works in all um, operating systems. We also have uh, Graphic Magic which we will use in this case uh, because it has uh, a number of benefits like it's more efficient than image magic it's smaller lighter and it's used to process billions of files uh, from Flickr and etsy so before using uh, the gm package we need to install the system level tools uh, image magic or graphics magic uh, respectively uh, so the gm package is just a layer on top so that Node.js can communicate with the actual system tools. And if you want to use Image Magic, you just subclass uh, with Image Magic True from the GM package. As I said, in our case, we're going to use Graphic Magic. For those of you that don't have Homebrew installed, you can go to Brew SH and run this uh, line here to install it. It's mostly for Mac OS and Linux. So if you have Windows, uh, you can follow the guide in the Graphic Magic uh, homepage. So let's um, do an npm init and provide uh, the defaults. Uh, with, now we're going to install three packages: Express, GM for Graphics Magic, and UUID, which will be used to generate um, uh, hashes for unique. Uh, temporary image files. Now we're going also to install NodeMon, which will be used as a dev dependency to run our server. And we make some changes to any file, it will automatically reload uh, our server. We will remove uh, main.js as we don't need it. And instead of test script, we are going to have a start script. And instead of uh, running node server.js, to run our uh, file, execute the file. We will now do NodeMon server.js with just reloading capabilities. So let's create a server.js file and let's start um, initializing express. Let's create an app variable called express here. And then let's um, create a default route just to test that everything works fine. Slash hello a callback function with a request and response objects and in here we're going to reply response don't send world now all we need to do is app.listen provide a port variable which we will define and call the callback when the server starts printing in the console server is running on port and the port number Let's define the port now, it will be 1337. Okay, let's save and uh, run this. Okay, our server is running right now. And let's uh, test this out. Slash hello. Okay, great. Now, now let's uh, require the file system module, we, we, which we will use to um, read and write from our this local directory here. The UUID will be used to provide uh, unique uh, hashes for the temporary images we're going to use. And 
lastly we're going to require the GM uh, package so if you want to run the image magic you just do the dot subclass image magic through here now we want to create a route uh, localhost 1337 slash resize slash width as a parameter slash height as a parameter so let's write that down it's going to be a get uh, route so when we provide uh, a value there we will have access to the value by using the height uh, variable we we'll have an async request response uh, callback and let's try to extract those uh, parameters by destructuring the request.params object let's try to console log them and see what we get response dot send got it okay let's run this slash resize slash 500 slash 500 okay as you can see we received the message and 500 500 as values okay great now let's uh, define the path to our, our uh, image uh, process dot uh, cwd cw stands for current working directory and it's an absolute path to where we actually run this file so it will give an actual path up to server.js directory and we're going to get and read the thumbnail.png file we're going to have an output image path again using um, process.cwd in this case we're going to call it tmp.hash here we'll provide the hash generated from a UUID PNG. This is in case you want to make this service public and you have many people uh, resizing their images, you don't want to have conflicts uh, in the file system while doing so and you need to have uh, unique names. So let's uh, generate a hash by calling the UUID uh, function and version v4. Now let's go ahead and create a resize uh, function which will do the actual work here we're going to call the graphic magic to do the resizing we're returning a new promise which accepts uh, two arguments resolve and reject and here we're calling gm we're passing uh, the image and then we call resize here we pass the actual uh, width and height variables and then we define the output directory where to actually write the image so we do dot write output image and we have a callback function if there is an error we will um, we will console log the error and we are going to reject the promise passing the error object this is so that we will handle it uh, if it happens if there's no error we just resolve the promise now let's actually try to use this so so we, we create a try catch block we await for the resize and we catch if there is any error when the promise rejects for example we send the response of the error message to the browser if the sizing was successful we then uh, send the temporary file and when this finishes we're listening on the on finish event again there is a callback function and here we're going to do the cleanup uh, so again a try catch block we're calling the file system module with unlink sync so this will remove uh, the image from the directory and if there is an error we console log it because it doesn't affect the user in any way okay uh, now we need to add an image in uh, the local directory here 
I'm going to import an image called thumbnail.png, it can be anything. If you're following along, please do so. Okay, let's try this out. Just uh, let's reload the patch here. Okay, as you have seen, we have the image resized 500 uh, pixels in width. There are options that we could use. Um, for example, uh, remove the profile, the EXIF profile. This contains uh, details like coordinates, uh, date, time, uh, even a place where this was taken. And uh, yeah, uh, it might be good to remove this kind of information before uh, resizing. So let's do that here. Provide the no profile call just before writing the image. Also, if you want to ignore the aspect ratio, you can provide that exclamation mark there. As you can see here, the, it keeps the aspect ratio in 500 pixels on the width. But if we wanted also 500 pixels on the height, we need to ignore the aspect ratio. And in this case, we can use query params to pass options to our um, uh, server when we want uh, to ignore the aspect ratio. Let's extract the aspect ratio variable from the request.query. Uh, and where we do the resizing, let's pass and check if this is defined and its value equals to ignore. In this case, we want to pass the exclamation mark here as an option, else we pass just a null. So how do we write it here on the URL? We provide a, a question mark and then we just write aspect ratio equals to ignore. This way we have a, a variable called aspect ratio with the value ignore. Let's try this out. Okay, as you can see here, we forced that the image is 500 pixels height and 500 pixels in width. Okay, thank you guys for watching. Uh, in the next part of this mini series, we are going to create a React uh, uh, UI uh, where we will actually stream an image to the server and the server will stream it back resized and with the ability to download it. Also, we are going to drop in some options like here, ignoring the aspect ratio or if we want to clean the EXIF profile data and stuff like that. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.